We are a festival with heart. Filmmakers don't come here because they want to make a deal. They come here for the same reason you're here, because they love films, we love films. We bring in over 100 filmmakers. We have films from 41 countries this year. Tons of women directors, mm -hmm. about 47% of the films this year. I think the number is 87 mm -hmm. of the 184 films in the festival are directed by women. So we're very excited about that. It's just a, a grand time for about 10 days. It's pretty incredible. Um, we have 23 members of our selection committee. They start um, in September, uh, and then they start officially meeting in groups in October. And by mid-January, we're pretty much programmed. Um, but yeah, they watch all 2,000 plus films, and I probably watch five or 600 easily of those as well. There's some incredible films this year. I think that Todd Thompson's opening night film, Women in Motion, is amazing because I just didn't know that Nichelle Nichols was essentially responsible for the first two women in space and the first black man in space, the first Asian American man in space. It's set in 1978. It's about Nichelle Nichols uh, from Star Trek. Uh, she plays Lieutenant Aurora and she recruited the first minority women astronauts for the space shuttle program. It's a case of where one person can change the world and that's what Nichelle Nichols did and this film, Women in Motion, tells exactly that story. And when the lights go down, I feel like the theater throws a blanket over you and you just get lost for the next two hours. We have a 20th anniversary screening of The Blair Witch Project, which is, of course, the most influential and important film to ever come out of the Orlando area. The film is significant because it was made by five Orlando filmmakers. Even the production designer was from Orlando. They're all UCF film graduates. Uh, when it came out 20 years ago, nobody had ever used social media to build a mystery around a film or help promote a film. Uh, it was shot first person where the actors, it looked like the actors were handling the camera. Uh, and obviously it blew people's minds totally and since then has become the most influential horror film of a generation. All the early screenings, we did a lot of test screenings here at Enzian. Uh, the film played here for weeks and weeks, still like what, 20 years later it's still the highest grossing film ever in the history of the theater. Uh, some of the people that made the film used to work here and we're awfully proud of it. So there's a lot going on here, obviously a lot of great movies that we have to look forward to. What else should we look forward to? Well we have tons of great parties happening throughout the entire festival but the biggest parties are our opening night party. We feature tons of local bars and restaurants. It's an open bar party. You get to taste and eat all of the best places from around Orlando. And you get to celebrate it with a thrilling film premiere. We're very excited about Woman in Motion being our opening night film. And it's gonna be a very big event. And then we have parties throughout the week, but we close the festival with our awards bash. And we're doing it in a really fun, cool speakeasy this year that's called Oliver's Classic Cars, and there are cars everywhere. And there's also a fun little spooky pop-up theme park at the end of that party as well. So this year is One Ticket Is All It Takes. And truly, that's what it, all it takes to experience the film festival. And one ticket is just $12. You can buy a package where you can buy a bulk amount of tickets and save money and get discounted admission. So all you need to do, get your tickets, look at Florida Film Festival, get the app, go to the parties. I mean, she's made it so easy. <laughs> we'll see you out there. See you.